Hello everyone, welcome to the Easy and Basic Mathematics channel. Our today's topic is subtracting mixed fractions. Yep, let's start with question one. We have two and one third minus one and one third. When we have a mixed fraction in mass, you always try to convert it into to normal fractions. So what we do, we uh, grab a pen. We multiply our denominators and add it with the numerators. So three, so three times two is six, six plus one is seven. And we bring our denominator as this, and we bring our subtraction sign as this. And we do the same thing for the second fractions. Three times one is three, plus one is four, and we bring our denominator as this. Now we have a normal subtraction of fractions, and we have the same denominators. So we take three as a common factors. So three divided by three is one, one times seven is seven. And we move along with our subtraction sign, and we do the same thing for the second fraction. Three divided by three is one, one times four is four. Now seven, take away four is three, and we bring a three along here as it is. Now, top and bottom is divisible by 3, or we could cancel 3 and 3. So 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 3 once. So our final solution is 1. Moving on to question 2. We have 3 and 1 quarter minus 1 and 1 quarter. Again, we convert our mixed fraction into normal fractions. So 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is 30 and we bring our denominator as it is and we bring our subtraction sign down here we do the same thing for the second fraction 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 and we bring our denominator 4 down as well so now we have a normal subtraction of fractions and we have the same denominators so we take 4 as a common factor so 4 divided by 4 is 1 1 times 13 is 13 and we move along with our subtraction sign. We do the same thing for the second fraction. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. And 13 take away 5 is 8. And we move over 4 here as well. Now top and bottom is divisible by 4. So 8 goes into 4 2 times. And 4 goes into 4 once. So our final solution is 2. Moving on to question 3. We have 3 and half minus 2 and half. Again, we convert our mixed fraction into normal fractions. Let's start. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. We bring our denominator as 2 as it is. And we bring our subtraction sign down as well. And we do the same thing for second, fra second fractions. Uh, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. And we bring our denominator 2 as it is. Now we have a normal subtraction of fractions. And we have the same denominators. So we take 2 as a factor. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 7 is 7. We bring our subtraction sign over here. And we do the same thing for the second fraction. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Now 7 take away 5 is 2. And we bring a 2 as it is. Now top and bottom is divisible by 2. So 2 goes into 2 ones. And 2 goes into 2 ones. Now our final solution is 1. Moving on to question 4, we have 4 and 1 fifth minus 3 and 1 fifth. Again, we convert our mixed fraction into normal fractions. Let's start. So 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21. And we bring our denominators 5 down here, and we bring our subtraction sign down here as well. And we do the same thing for the second fraction. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16. And we bring our Denominator is 5 down here. Now we have the normal subtractions of fractions. 
and we have the same denominator so we take uh, 5 as a common factors so 5 divided by 5 is 1 1 times 21 is 21 we move along our subtraction sign we do the same thing for the second fraction 5 divided by 5 is 1 1 times 16 is 16 now 21 take away 16 is 5 and we bring over 5 down in denominator as it is now top and bottom is divisible by 5 so 5 goes into 5 ones yep and then our final solution is 1 moving on to question 5 we have 4 and 2 over 6 minus 2 and 1 sixth so again we convert our mixed fraction into normal fractions let's start 6 times 4 is 24 plus 2 is 26 and we bring our denominator 6 as it is we bring our subtraction sign down as well we do the same thing for the second fraction 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13 we bring our denominator 6 down here now we have a normal subtraction so fractions and we have same denominators so we take 6 as a common factors 6 divided by 6 is 1 1 times 26 is 26 we move along our subtraction sign we do the same thing for the second fraction 6 divided by 6 this is 1 1 times 13 is 13 so now 26 take away 13 is 13 and we write down 6 as it is now this is our solution but since it's an improper fraction we want to write down as a mixed fraction so our final solution is 2 and 1 sixth moving on to question 6 we have 2 and 1 quarter minus 1 and 1 third again we convert our mixed fraction into normal fractions so let's start 4 times 2 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 and we bring our denominators 4 down here and we bring our subtraction sign down here as well and and we do the same thing for the second fraction 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4 and we bring our denominators 3 down here now we have a normal subtraction so fractions and we have and here we don't have a common denominators so we have to multiply 4 times 3 is 12 so 12 is a uh, factors of 4 and 3 now for 12 divided by 4 is 3 3 times is 9 is 27 we move along our subtraction sign do the same thing for the second fraction 12 divided by 3 is 4 4 times 4 is 16 now 27 minus 16 is 11 and we bring it our denominator 12 as it is so our we can't simplify this one any further so our solution is our final solution is 11 over 12. moving on to question 7 we have 3 and half minus 2 and 1 third again we convert our mixed fraction into normal fractions let's start 2 times 3 6 6 plus 1 is 7 and we bring our denominators to as this we bring our subtraction sign as well we do the same thing for the second fraction 3 times 2 6 6 plus 1 is 7 and we bring our denominator 3 as this now we have a normal subtraction of fractions and here we don't have a same denominator so we multiply 2 by uh, 2 by 3 to get 6 so now 6 is, um, is a common factors for 2 and 3. So 6 is divisible by 2 and 3. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times is 7 is 21. And we move along our subtraction sign. We do the same thing for the second fraction. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times is 7 is 14. Now 21 take away. 14 is 7 and we move along the 6 as it is 
So our solution is 7 over 6, but this is improper fraction, so we want to write down as a next fraction. So our final solution is 1 and 1 sixth. Moving on to question 8, we have 2 and 1 fifth minus 1 and 1 tenth. Again, we want to convert uh, our mixed fraction into normal fractions first. So let's start. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. We bring over denominator 5 as it is, and we bring over subtraction sign down as well. We do the same thing with the second fraction. 10 times 1 is 10, plus 1 is 11, and we bring over denominator 10 as down as well. Now we have a um, different denominators by 10 is divisible by itself and 5. So we take uh, factors 10. We take uh, 10 as a factors. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 11 is 22. We move along of our subtraction sign. Do the same thing for the second fractions. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 1 times 11 is 11. Now 22 take away 11 is 11. We move along with the 10 as it is. So this is our solution, but since it's uh, improper, it, it's in proper fractions or top heavy fractions, we convert it into into a mixed fraction. So our final solution is one and one tenth. Moving on to question nine, we have three and a half minus two and one quarter. Again, we convert our mixed fraction into normal fractions. Let's start. 2 times 3, 6, 6 plus 1, 7. We bring our denominator down, 2 as well. We bring our subtraction sign down as well. We do the same thing for the second fraction. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. And we bring our denominator down as well. Now we have a normal subtraction, so fractions. And we don't have a same denominator, but 4 is a factor of itself and 2. 4 is divisible by itself and 2. We take 4 as a factor. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 7 is 14. We move along with our subtraction sign. Do the same thing for the second fraction. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 9 is 9. Now, 14 take away 9 is 5, and we bring along the 4 as this. So this is our solution, but since it's an improper fraction or top heavy fractions, we convert it, we want to convert it into a mixed fraction. So our final solution is 1 and 1 quarter. Moving on to question 10, our last question. We have 2 and 1 third minus one and a half. Again, we want to convert our, our mixed fraction to a normal fractions. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. And we bring our denominator down as it is. We bring our subtraction sign. And we do the same thing for the second fraction. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 1 is 3. And we bring our denominator down as it is. And now we have a normal subtractions of fractions and since we we don't have the same denominators we have to multiply 2 times 3 is 6 now 6 is a factor of 3 and 2 so 6 divided by 3 is 2 2 times 7 is 14 we move along with our subtraction sign we do the same thing for the second fraction 6 divided by 2 is 3 3 times 3 is 9 now 14 take away 9 is 5, and we bring 6 as it is. And we can't simplify any further, so our final solution is 5 over 6. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.